Okay, so what is the difference between pre-qualified and pre-approved? Now, these terms get used interchangeably sometimes, but I want to make a distinction because they are very different. Now, when you get pre-qualified, that is something that is a lesser quality approval. So what that simply means is that maybe logged in to a site, put in some data, and, and then you get some sort of a basic scenario of what you might be approved for. So you've not submitted anything like income documents or tax returns, bank statements, anything like that. So that pre-qualification is something that's very, very quick to get. And it's not something that you really can go to bat with your realtor and start making offers with, which brings us to a pre-approval. Now, what that does is that's where you're actually going to submit an application. Now, with a pre-approval, the difference there is you're actually going to submit your income and asset documentation. So that could be tax returns, pay stubs, bank statements, anything like that. And the lender is actually going to review those. And so then once they've reviewed those, then they can issue a letter and that letter is sent to you in an email format so what we actually do is we send you and the realtor your realtor a letter that says what you're approved for now that letter is going to have an approval amount max but you may not buy up to your max you may buy something way less and i usually recommend that don't recommend someone going up to their max however the realtor can actually amend the letter so it's left in a format where they can actually change and lower so a pre-approval is actually going to give you the letter from the lender that actually tells you your approval amount. Now you can go out with your realtor, start looking for homes. So now they can issue a letter to the listing agent along with your offer that makes you in a much stronger position. It's absolutely imperative that you get pre-approved before you go out looking for a home. Most realtors are not even gonna put you in a car and go out looking until you've been pre-approved. So that's the two, the two differences between the two. Here's the good news. Neither one of them costs you anything to do so unless there's some, if there's a lender out there that's asking you to pay for some sort of a, a credit report up front, that is not the industry norm and I would steer clear of that type of situation. It should be something that's free for you to get pre-approved and something that you can take advantage of in this market and really moving forward.